Perry and the Pirates! <laughs> You know, it's a strange thing about young Terry Lee and his pals. They can get into more trouble, into more exciting spots, and battle their way out and have more fun doing it than anybody ever knew. Yes, and they use their heads, too, as well as their fists. And you'll find them laughing as they fight on this great, thrilling summertime action show. And so, across the world to ancient China, and the start of a new adventure, Escape in August. Terry Lee, together with Pat Ryan and their friends, went to the Chinese mountains to recover an amazing radio invention stolen from them by the dreaded Dragon Lady. And now, after days of difficulty, Pat and Terry have the little radio device with them. Ah, but all is not so certain, for these two daring Americans are hiding under a pile of hay in a Chinese wagon. They're trying to escape to Chongqing to go to get away from the Dragon Lady. But now the wagon is halted on the road. And as Terry moves the bit of the hay that covers him, he can see back down the mountain road. Hey, there's a car coming, Pat. Huh? It must be coming from Utong. Coming from... Hey, Terry, what do you suppose this is? I don't know. The driver of this wagon standing on the road is watching the auto come up the hill. Can you make out the car or anything about it? Yeah. It's the car from the Dragon Lady's place. Uh -huh. Might have figured that much. Well, fella, they're not going to drag us back to Utong without a fight. You still have that gun you took from? Yeah, yeah, I got it. And you keep that radio transmitter close to you. Yeah, it's right here on the floor of the wagon. Oh, good. Yeah, that's the car we saw at Utong, all right. Oh, this hay is dry and dusty. I'll right? see. Hey, Terry, can you see who's in that car? Oh, not yet. Hey, what about Connie? Oh, what can he do? Oh, that's so. He's up front. He doesn't know we're under all this hay back here anyway. You better let him stay up there on the driver's seat. After all, nobody's after Connie. The DL told him he could go. Uh-oh. Here comes trouble, fella. Yeah, plenty of trouble. Guess who's in that car? I don't have to guess. It's Mr. T. Yeah, and somebody else. for making talking with you. Oh, it's Ding Dong, the giant wrestler. Yeah, he's driving the car for Keel. You heard, you boy on wagon seat. Come on. Perhaps me, you are speaking to Connie? You said it, friend, you said it. Uh, is something topsy turtle I am expecting? Yes, plenty wrong, fellas. Hey, when Connie and Ding Dong get to talking together, <laughs> nobody will understand anything. Shh. Maybe we can hear what they say. Right. You are north. Perhaps we going north south when the road is otherwise. What has happened to your friend, my friend? Oh, so sorry, honorable Dinky. By the bones of my ancestors, I... I am not interested in the bones of your ancestors. I am very much interested in the bones of your friend. You had better let me question this man, Ding Dong. Sure thing, boy. Now, you little feller. Speak when spoken to. Oh, you bet. Oh, yeah. What are you doing here? Connie makes walk ride for Chunking. Kindly owe on key for ride by Honorable Dragon One, also a lady. Now then, I'll ask you a question. And don't you lie to me. Oh, yeah. A new laid egg has no feather. What are you talking about, anyway? Don't be still, Ding Dong. Your job is to drive this car. I am good driver, also great wrestler. I wrestle all over the world. I can drive car all over the yes, world. Yes, and at this moment, you're the biggest nuisance in this world. Oh, oh. You heard that little feller? I am also great nuisance. Oh, be still. Oh. <laughs> 
I am great power. I'm big, strong. I can get people to try to run away. Get out of this car. Get out, I say. Come, we'll both get out. Oh, what an imbecile. Hey, you, you boy. What is your name? Is Connie. Well, you come with me. We'll walk over and talk to the Chinese driver of this wagon. And you, Ding Dong, don't you follow us. Stay where you are. I can see and hear everything, Pat. And I'm getting nervous. Yeah, same here, Terry. I, I hardly know what to do. Boy, if Keel takes a notion to search this wagon, we're gone. Yeah. Well, he won't wear this wagon. They don't know we're hiding under all this hay. Yeah. But if that Keel starts pushing Connie around, I'll beat that bristle top up in little pieces. Shh, quiet. I can see Ding Dong. He's getting restless. He's coming toward the wagon. Uh-oh. I hope he doesn't decide to take a nap in this hay. Yeah, it'd be just his dumb luck to find us. Then he'd let out a yell that'll shake the mountains. Shh, he's almost here. Gee, what do we do? Well, I think we better... <laughs> hey, hey, this hay, I'm gonna... Get it, gonna, gonna... <laughs> what was that? What was that I had? Somebody's magic. Big dog is good ears. Pat, he's great for hearing snazzing. Ow! Right, quick, I'm going, quick, Harry. Okay. Drag that big ox up here, but quick. Yeah. Come on. All right. Got him. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, we're making too much noise. No, 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 we're not. Out of the way. Out of the way, hurry. Oh, come on. Please, Tom, get his legs. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now, all together. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. I hope we took off a little skin, too. In the right places. Boy, that was a suck. He you shot your fist out from the hay, caught him smack on the chin. Yeah, but I can still feel it. All right, come on, Terry. Let's cover him up. Okay. I got his head and his shoulders pretty well. Boy, his feet are big. Yeah. How you doing? Okay. You got him all right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think anybody can see him now. Yeah. All right, Terry. Grab that transmitter. Yeah, I got it. Well, what do we do next? Oh, come on. Keep the wagon between us and Keel. Yeah. Keel's up there in front of the horses, talking to Connie and the driver. I can see him. Hey, where are we going? Uh, to the car. We're getting back. we will down. You go on ahead. What about you? Never mind about me, Terry. I've got the gun. Get moving. Okay. Don't lie to me, boy. You know where those two Americans are. You help them to escape. They have the radio invention with them, haven't they? Connie's haven't liver they? is torn with sympathy about a do not know. Never mind that. You're evading my question. Now then, before I decide to use other methods, where are those two men? Alas, Connie does not know. Did they take the radio device with them? Alas, is not for Connie to know greatly such many things. Either they took it, Smuggled it away, or it is now in Chongqing with a w woman who flew away in the airplane. And you can tell me. Now then, Connie, or whatever your name oh, is. Please, sir, twist of wrist is much pain for Connie. He's hurting like by golly off. I'll hurt you a lot first. Are you going to tell me where those friends of yours are? Oh, Connie is on knees to say. Please, I'll uh, twist your arm a great deal more. Let that you... boy alone. But, uh, what? All right, come on, but... get up, Connie. Get out of the way. No, no, Keel. Keep your hands away from your pocket. Or I'll have to fill you full of itty-bitty bullets. But what do you want? What do I want? I'll tell you in just a moment. Connie, will you see why Mr. Keel wants to put his hands in his pocket? Oh, his day of happy delight, Mr. Ryan Pop. Ah, yes, his fine gun for boom bullets. Aha, uh -huh. nice automatic, huh? No wonder Mr. Keel's hand wanders toward his hip pocket. Take charge of that weapon, Connie. What do you want, Ryan? You know you can't get very far. Yeah, well, don't count on Ding Dong. He's, uh, he's asleep. He ran into the same thing you're going to run into. Hey, Connie. Oh, uh, yes, boss. 
Better keep an eye on the driver of the wagon. It looks harmless enough, but let's make sure, huh? Oh, you saw. Now, Mr. Keel? So, you are the brave one with the gun, eh? Well, what do you plan to do with me? Well, I'm not going to twist your wrist. I'm not going to bully you like you did Connie. Now, you're about my size. I ought to tip the scales at about the same weight. <laughs> oh, boy, I've been itching to get you out of my system ever since we first met. Hey, Connie. Yo, Walter. Catch this gun of mine. I won't need it. Catch. It is caught. Now then, Keel, I... <laughs> ah, that was pretty good, Keel. I didn't expect that. Yeah, there's a lot you do not expect, Mr. Iron. You happen to be fighting a man who was a former middleweight champion. Yeah, so much the better. My conscience is clear. No, you don't. Chump, I don't know which. <laughs> well, I had a little practice on Ding Dong first. Golly, he was a tough nut to crack. Yeah, Keel's an expert. Knows how to box, and he's all solid muscle. Well, I'll say. Thanks, Terry. Too bad I wasn't in a regular ring with him, and I could say, Hiya, Mom. Hi, everybody in Chicago. I'm feeling fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm not. Why, this was a workout. Yeah, you got a shiner, and you're kind of rocky. Look, you get back in the car. I'll drive. Come on, Connie. Oh, use it. Hey, uh, what do we do about this bird? Uh, Keel, I have the driver tuck him in the with Ding Dong. Connie, tell the driver to help Keel into his wagon when he comes to, huh? Honky! Are you home, sorry, sorry? Oh, Well, we've got the radio invention, Pat. Uh-huh. we got a car to take us to Chung King. Right. <laughs> I guess Lady Luck is smiling at us again, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, Terry, I'd rather have Lady Luck smile at us than the dragon lady. Yeah. But we'd better not do any smiling until we get plenty far away from here. I don't feel so safe yet. Those last words of Terry Lee are the truest he's ever spoken. Because trouble isn't far away. Terry and the Pirates is dramatized for radio by Albert Barker, who says... It's one thing to put the giant wrestler, Ding Dong, to sleep, but it's quite another to dodge the tricks of the dragon lady. She's a clever woman, and she has lots of crooks to help her. So let's all be on hand for the thrills that start next Monday at the start of a brand new adventure. Same time, same station. Terry and the Pirates is heard overseas through the Armed Forces Radio Service. <laughs> This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.